So you have questions about where I got the boards from for inside of them. So um, yeah, AliExpress um, was the easiest place I found them. Uh, they were about a pound, pound fifty, but I think they've gone up now because uh, I believe a lot of people have been ordering them. So these are the exact boards I ordered and used. Uh, and I'm also gonna show you in this video how to program them. And I'll be honest, I say program, but you just need to press a button. You don't really need to do anything. So it's very simple. These are the ESP32 chips, and it's the exact same like chip that's inside of this, but this one has a screen. Um, so this website here is one of the flashing websites. Um, it is literally this simple. Find the program that you wanna um, install, so it's the firmware. If you're not sure, you're gonna have to do some trial and error and play around with it. I've been using this um, development one here because they seem to work on them boards because there's no screen. Um, you plug it in by USB, just like that. And then, yeah, you press flash. Now you can connect to it and have a look what's going on first, or you can just press connect and program. And that's exactly when you press connect and program, it's an ask you to locate the device. It's the USB device because you've plugged it in by USB. You're going to connect and it's going to start its thing. Um, this is all automatic. You don't have to do anything here. It knows what's put in there. Um, it, it really is that simple. But as I was saying, if the device doesn't have a license, you'll need to buy one from the website that shows up um, if you don't have one. It's like two pans, but it does unlock to like 400, 500, 600 KPS, which is still tiny, but a lot bigger than the um, ones you can buy. So yeah, I have about 10 of these uh, little boards now. I bought the dual core one there, but I actually struggled to get that programmed and it, there's no real difference in any sort of uh, power in that one. This is the other website you can use. This one doesn't ask for a license, but this software, the uh, firmware is different. So it depends what one you want to put on. This one I found was the 70 KPS one. So, you know, it depends what you want to install on these, these like ESP 32s, but it is incredibly simple to install onto them. Um, they are, these devices have other uses. So this is not their main use, but this is what you can do because the program has been written to mine Bitcoin. It can't really mine any other coin because it hasn't been written for that. Um, so, but you're welcome to try and mess around with them because I think that's the fun in this. There are websites you can use to get other coins mined, but to be honest, the if they're not suitable for it, it is so much harder to um, get anything from them. So thank you very much for watching uh, this very short video explaining about programming and I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye for now.